get into it, y'all. Seven ways to help stop procrastinating. I got them typed out on my computer, so I'm be looking now. Number one, get a physical or digital planner. This is an oldie but a goodie, you guys, but it's on here because it works. Me, myself, I have a physical planner. This is just a planner that I found around the house, and I just plan my stuff out you don't want to make a list i would not suggest a list you need a planner um if you are okay with not being able to write stuff out you can get you a digital planner i would recommend asana um i've used asana before um, they have a desktop version as well as a mobile version so you can use it on the go or if you're at your house um if you one of those procrastinators that immediately make up excuses you can set up an asana account for the free using your google using your uh, your google email address you don't have to worry about typing out all of your information just get straight through it with google and with this planner you want to plan ahead and we know you got things that you can plan ahead because you've been procrastinating on doing them number two is you want to create a routine like getting up earlier and getting out of the bed for me i get up earlier and get out the bed i do with things that i need to do when i come back into my room when i come back into whatever productive space that i'm going to be in being productive i'm sitting up i'm not laying down so you can sit on a comfy couch but the couch is not going to be as comfortable as a bed because the bed is for what nasty time not always y'all a lot of times the bed is used for rest and relaxation and we're not about rest and relaxation right now you can be comfortable sitting up but you don't want to be relaxed too relaxed because if you're too relaxed you're gonna do it you're gonna go to sleep you go to sleep yeah so get up out the bed get up a little earlier so that you can prep yourself for the day and prepare yourself for the day don't get up at 8 30 you got to be someplace at 9 don't do that because that's going to put you in a tizzy, going to put your mind in a frenzy, and that's going to make you immediately want to stop procrastinating. Don't do that. Number three is let the sun in. Open up the windows, open up the curtains, open up your blinds. Let some fresh air in. No matter how much you want to lay in the dark in the bed and be in denial that it is not 7, 8 o'clock in the morning, guess what time it is? Guess. It's 7 or 8 o'clock in the morning. That also, in my opinion, helps with depression. It helps with um, if you're feeling down, having a little bit of fresh air, being able to hear the birds outside, hear some nature outside, a car honk, or whatever. Number four is doing away with non-productive habits, i.e. jumping up and getting on social media or being on the phone having social non-productive conversations. You talking to your friend about what happened at the club the night before, or you talking to your friend about what happened on the end of the series of one of y'all favorite shows, that could wait. That could wait. Social media can wait. If you can hold off on being on social media for leisure pleasure, at least until noon, I promise you, you're going to definitely see a difference. This is something that I've implemented. I'm not just giving y'all things, listing off things that I don't uh, implement myself. These are things that I have recently implemented myself and things that I have implemented in the past that definitely have worked for me so that I know that some of these, if not all of these, will work for you. So my biggest thing is staying off of social media until noon, at least until known um social media is a dark hole and you will get on it especially tiktok but any social media you'll get on it and you'll be on it for hours because being on social media is more appealing than getting up and doing the things that you know you need to do number five is prepare yourself to be productive the night before so when you're laying in the bed on your way off to la la land to go and venture into these different realms you want to be thinking about the fact that you know that you have things to do tomorrow when you get up you have things to do so get it in your mind that you already have stuff planned out you're gonna feel better about the fact that you already know what you have to do so you don't have to try to like figure it out um you already know you wrote it in your planner your digital planner or your physical planner what you have to do when you get up so just prepare yourself the night before while you're laying in bed right before you go to sleep you don't have to stress yourself out about it all day just right before just let yourself know when i get up in the morning this is what i have to do it's going to feel so good when a certain time hits and the work that you normally would have put off to the end of the day is already done. It's a great feeling. And it's going to also give you more motivation to keep on going and doing it the next day. Number six, fuck no, you cannot do it on your favorite day. As procrastinators, because I too 
am unfortunately in that club, but I'm working on it. We, we can't do it on our favorite day. We all have the same favorite day, and that favorite day is tomorrow. I don't care what day it is. Wednesday, tomorrow. Saturday, tomorrow. Monday, tomorrow. That's our favorite day. You can't do it. You can't do it. You can't do it on your favorite day. You can, no. And lastly, number seven. Give yourself a day of rest. We got to get a day of rest. I don't care how much of a procrastinator you are, you still deserve a day of rest. Depending on how well you've implemented these rules and been able to execute them, you might be able to give yourself two days of rest. How about that? Two days of rest. So you give yourself one or two days of rest. I wouldn't because we're trying to get up out of the procrastinating thing i wouldn't make them back to back i just i just would i wouldn't make them back to back because i feel like you make them back to back that's easy to make from two days turning to three days turning to five days and now you're back to being a procrastinator full time knowing that knowing that you planned out your week and you executed your week you can rest with the fulfillment and the lightness of knowing that you don't have anything else due until a day, the day that it's due. It's nothing that you have put off to do on a different day. You're doing the things in order on the days that they're supposed to be done. So just give yourself that rest. Give yourself that time. In my opinion, procrastination is created in our minds. Sometimes it comes from a place of doubt. Sometimes it just comes from laziness. Sometimes it comes from both. For me, it has come from both places. Sometimes doubt, sometimes laziness, sometimes doubt and laziness. But as I'm consistently and continuously making sure that I'm getting out of my procrastination modes, I always tell myself, if you could come up with a bunch of ways and reasons to not do something, then you could come up with a bunch of ways and reasons to do it. Thank y'all for coming to my TED Talk.